Good morning, traders. It is Friday, July the 12th. Taking a look at the charts, not a whole lot has really changed uh, this week or from yesterday. Markets are relatively flat. Equities trading up slightly. Uh, metals mixed. Energies are mixed. And uh, nothing too extreme. Now, overall, if we take a run through the markets real quick here, we've got the the SPY ETF, SP500. We've gone from an oversold territory. Whoops. Uh, we ended up popping all the way up getting out on two different targets uh, to the upside. And since then, we've seen the market chop around, and we're really holding this upper level. Uh, we're testing the 3,000 mark on the SPY, or 300 on the SPY, and breaking above 3,000 on the futures. So we're going to have a little gap up today. The big question is, are we going to be uh, overbought and see the market pull back? Yesterday, if we just zoom into the chart here, uh, not a huge price action, but we saw the market gap higher, talked about it in pre-market that it was going to gap higher. It was gapping into resistance and it was, the market was short term overbought. Now this, these are tiny moves here, but I know a lot of you day trade. Uh, so I'd like to point these out more or less. We're looking for some type of fade at the open. And of course, we had a little gap window and uh, we had a move back down to fill that. And then since then, it's just been chopping around. But again, if you're trading futures, uh, there's, you know, there's some pretty decent money in these small moves uh, that go forward. Now, overall, if we look at the overall chart here, uh, I am expecting more or less the markets to put in a, a cycle top going forward, but we don't want to bet against the market at this point. We're waiting for some type of pullback consolidation uh, to get back long in the equities market. Uh, so uh, nothing too significant with the SP 500 right now or the other major indexes. Actually, if we look at the Russell 2000, it actually had um, uh, a little bit of a buy signal over the last few sessions. You can see where it got oversold, had a big rally. It's been consolidating with uh, a fairly bullish short term pattern here. And it actually gave a buy signal yesterday morning, had a bounce from there. It's at the 20 day. It's if you look at the daily chart, it's got a nice bull flag. And uh, we could start to see the small caps outperform. Now, yesterday I talked about how they're underperforming in the big picture. But short term, the large caps are a little exhausted. The small caps have been uh, taking a breather and they look loaded and ready to have a pop and run. So we keep our eyes on the small caps uh, going forward here. Now, if we take a look over at, let's take a look over at gold. Gold's been consolidating. We've had this big run up. It's been consolidating sideways here. Uh, more or less, we're letting letting the market kind of do its thing. We're seeing if the U.S. dollar is going to find uh, support and continue to go higher. And if the, we're going to see gold and miners break down and have more of a flush. This is a nice, strong, bullish pattern. It is uh, holding tight in this range and kind of coiling. It's building power. Whichever way it breaks, we're going to see a fairly significant move. So, I am more or less getting ready to jump in and get long if it does start to break and move to the upside. But overall, I still have a feeling it's going to want to wash out and cleanse the market. Everyone's buying and holding, expecting a breakout to the upside. And uh, I'm hoping the market's going to cleanse that and a rising dollar as well going forward. We'll pull this back and, and, and kind of release some of the, the longs, get them out, and then we can get back in with an oversold uh, buy signal going forward. If we take a look at silver, silver's trading down today again, uh, still in an upward bias, but it is uh, flirting around here, just kind of hanging on to a thread, and uh, all these markets are just kind of consolidating. And the question is, do we have that washout low in the metals market, uh, or is it going to just continue to break out to the upside and continue to run higher? If we look over at miners, GDX, uh, does the GDX, if we go to the GDXJ, they're both pretty much the same. Uh, again, yesterday giving back a good chunk of their gains as it gapped up into resistance yesterday on news. And news tends to give back 50 or 100% of the gains within a couple of days. Most of the gains were given back uh, yesterday. So we're going to let the market just do its thing. It's going to work itself out here. We'll see uh, what type of pattern starts to unfold. We could be into this type of pattern here where we gap up show a little bit of weakness, but then it just keeps on going to the upside and we see it really break out and take off. So keep my eyes peeled for potentially jumping in and getting long into the metal sector. Looking over at energies, natural gas up 1.6%. Uh, if we look at the short term chart, it's gone from uh, on the on the left hand side here, a neg red bars, which is a downtrend to neutral. And it's been consolidating. And yesterday, it started to finally get down into a short-term 
uh, oversold territory, which is uh, we're starting to see all three key cycles in the lower reversal zone. It uh, is testing down it in into the support area and today we're starting to see it bounce up already it's up at uh, 45 it has potential to go up to the potential uh, 40 or for the, the 55 area you can see this upside target here which is a level where the price broke down in a significant way uh, before so that'll be the natural recoil back up that kind of test of that resistance area Looking over at crude, relatively flat on the session. It uh, still continues to be in an uptrend, and we're looking for it to push up into the 61, 62 area. But overall, uh, don't really want to get into that trade at this point. It's flirting here with just above resistance, at resistance. Looks a little toppy. Uh, there's a, there's, I feel as though there's more potential for a sharp pullback than there is for a huge rally. I think getting in here is kind of... Uh, um, uh, more or less chasing the play, and it's gonna, it gets a little squeezed to get a move in there. Now, if we take a look over at, uh, let's pull up the dollar real quick, just so we can see where the dollar is. The dollar's pulled back, and uh, more or less, uh, today we're seeing it trade uh, slightly lower as well. It's more or less flat on the day, but uh, again, a pull it, bullish pullback, we could see the dollar continue to take off. Uh, to me, it feels like it has some pretty good upside potential, and I think we could see it continue to push up and pull metals and miners back going forward and commodities as a whole. Anyways, not a whole lot today. We'll see what kind of, if we get any volatility, any big volume moving around uh, today in the markets. But it, at this point, it doesn't seem like there's a whole lot going on. Anyways, that's it for now. Talk to you in a bit. Bye-bye.